Dun 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 There goes their relationship Okay they are now ex husband and ex wife and now she considers him an enemy and he considers her considers her an enemy. So I don't know if I should let them still live in the same household or not, but that is what happens when um, you have a couple that's not going so well because someone just keeps on getting cheated. I don't know. But it's actually Andrew's fault. It's not Victor's fault because Andrew has that special charm about him that makes him um, be able to seduce anybody. Okay, so let's go back to Andrew's uh, house and I will come back in when we are there. Yeah. Welcome back to, yes, part four. No, part five of Homewrecker mini series of Andrew Francesco's life. So yeah, uh, you recently just saw that Victor and Elizabeth have broken up now. Um, we're not gonna be doing anything with Victor now that he's broken up, but I think we're just gonna maintain that relationship that him and uh, Andrew have. Um, just n just keep in your mind that he doesn't only hit on men; he hits on women too. So he goes for both. And I think he's sleeping right now, but he's about to get fully rested, so I'll just let that time pass by. S nothing better than um, fast forwarding time. So in the last part, I think we've started hitting on Callie Collins, because she is indeed married, and like I said, she's married to John Mole, which his, his last name Mole was recent, but he changed it to Collins because she proposed to him. And some other stuff. Wow, zero zero with Samantha. And I think next we're going to be hitting on Sharon because, I don't know, Callie kind of home wrecked, she, never mind, Sharon and John weren't ever engaged or anything like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wake him up and get him ready for, actually he doesn't have work today, great. So we can do some more home wrecking today. So what a boring Monday it's been for me. I hate Mondays because school is like, ugh, it's the worst day of school every Monday. But surprisingly, if you get a good, a good Monday, then you're lucky. I'm not saying all Mondays are bad. Though. Yeah. But mine today was really boring. And it's been like that the whole time. So, yeah. Uh, we do not have enough money to beautify this room. But this is the room of the victims we've had. We're going to paint them. So, I think I might do that on my own time. Because painting them takes a lot of time out of the series so I'll just have them do some other stuff. I'll just do that one at a time. So let's go ahead and beautify this room real quick. Beautify it. Let's get us some carpet because actually let's put wood. Some wood. I like wood flooring. As long as it's done nicely then I like wood flooring. If it's not then I hate it. One or the other. <laughs> uh let's see. I say a lot. This would look good, right? It's like a little gallery flooring. I don't know if we have enough money to make the walls. Ew, my voice is all weird. The walls. Let's see, poured walls. Wallpaper. Paint. I like paint. Yeah, we do, we do have enough money for it. Ah, oh, it depends, I guess, because... I don't know, it's different wallpaper. And prices. I don't know, what should the wall look like? It should be something like very... It should be red as for like romanticness and stuff. That makes any sense. Oh my god, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. That looks good. We'll do the outside when we get more money. So yeah, our... It's getting... It's getting there. The inside is good. That's all that matters. I think. Alright, so today... We're just going to wait for it to get more earlier. I'm going to have him go ahead and prepare some breakfast for himself. And have him skill up a bit. So that way he can make more precious breakfasts, desserts, dinners, lunches. So he could use that to um, lure his prey in. When I mean his prey, I mean his victims, yeah. It's just your typical morning, eating cereal. Andrew has a day off. That's kind of good for homeworking. 
He has one vacation day, which is not bad. Hopefully next time when he goes to work, he'll get promoted and we can get some more money, money, more money, <laughs> more money and all that good stuff. So let's actually go ahead and call up a sim. Let's see. Let's call Callie. I think we should call Callie now. Oh my god, shut up. Phone. Let's call Brooke. Let's call Brooke. Where's our phone at? It's right there, of course. I haven't played this this household in, like in a few days. I, I keep on forgetting stuff, so yeah. Um, actually, I have a test tomorrow, but I should be studying, but I decided to go ahead and record and put a video up for you guys because I haven't been posting for like two days now. And on, I think, Saturday and Sunday, I was busy, like, Saturday was a party, and I forgot to record. I don't know why, but I said I was going to pre-record in that episode, but I didn't, so that was my fault, sorry. Um, Sunday, I was out again, so, you know, just going out, just going out for, like, belated birthday outings. Um, who was I going to call? Broke. Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm a, just the greatest finder ever. Uh, I think we're just gonna talk to her because mm -hmm. I don't think we knew her, we know mm -hmm. know her that well. Okay, so we're just gonna have him just let him talk to her and admire our precious lot. See, look at that. It's 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 like the last day of fall, and the leaves are falling off the trees. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh! You see that? You see that? They do bring out the, the ladybugs or something, because you see these, yeah, the ladybugs. Ladybugs actually stink when they die because I killed a ladybug before on accident. <laughs> it was a quote-unquote accident. I was really scared of ladybugs when I was younger, but I'm not too afraid of them. I haven't actually seen a ladybug in a long time, but um, I saw a ladybug and I like squashed it with my. <laughs> it was an accident, you know. I squashed it with my shoe. Oh, who did that? Who do who would do such a thing? Elizabeth's not here anymore. So I killed it, and then it started, you know, its guts like came out and stuff, and it smelled nasty. So I think it was his guts that stunk. Ugh. Ugh. I'm such a mean person. I killed a ladybug. I'm a murderer. <laughs> oh, ladybug murderer. Those ladybugs fall. I kept on buzzing in my face. Just playing with the ladybug. Okay, so he's got a little bit of relationship up with her. Yep, that's a lot. Oh, oh, he's a good talker. Um, let's go to a community lot because one of you had a great idea of me. Well, no. It was, it was, I don't know. But let's just go to a community lot. Let's use our car because we want to look rich. One of you gave me the idea of going to commute a lot more often, so that way we can pick up women, and I think that's a good idea. I could have thought of it, but I wasn't too sure. So let's go to a place where a whole bunch of sims hang out at 9 in the morning, because they do that. Lulu Lounge. Hip spot where the music never stops and fun never ends. You'll feel like a VIP as long as you lounge on the velvet couches or relaxing to the ambient music. Let's go to the Lulu Lounge real quick. And if we don't find what we like there, of course, we can obviously go to another community lot. So I will see you guys at the Lulu Lounge, and we'll see what we can find there. As to any men and women, I guess. Howdy, y'all. Welcome back to the Lulu Lounge. Um... Once again, we are having some issues, and it's not the graphic card, graphics card or anything, it's actually the lot itself. It looks pretty bugged. So when the sim makers, the game makers, making the sims too, I mean this lot particularly, they probably were like rushing or something, and this just turned out to be the most messed up, glitched building in the world, so there's that. Okay, so Lulu Lounge, we've been here before, uh, I think if you watched Anderson's, you've obviously we've been there before. And I think Homewrecker miniseries season one we've been in here. I'm not too sure, but we've been here before. That's all I know. So there's nothing, there's nobody here except old people, but there's a, I thought that was a chick before. Let's talk to him. Actually, let's order a drink. Because that's the first thing you should do when you go to a bar. Oh, get a drink. Get a drink. 
Mar 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 Marielle Kretz. She looks hot. Oh, look even better at this old lady over here. She's a cougar. She's a cougar. What the? Weirdo. Ooh, who's this? Who's this guy? What's his name? Connor Bartholet. We'll save him for. We'll save him for somebody else. Let's save Connor for somebody else. He's he's too precious. Man, they're getting their groove on. This girl does not know how to dance at all. This guy's like gonna show off. Corbin. Yeah. Ooh, Susie Thompson. Let's. We should talk to her. Where'd you go? Okay, you're over here. Let's talk to her. She looks pretty interesting. Let's go greet her. Stop drinking your your beer or something. What'd you get? A drink. Yeah, whatever. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's how you greet people. You just shake your head at them and they shake their head back. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, they do have chemistry. That's pretty surprising. Let's go and flirt with her. Let's charm her, cause Andrew is mostly known for his charms. See, she's always she's she's literally falling for him, and she admires him. That's nice. Wait, no, they're just oh wow. Hello there, Andrew. You have a lot in common with my friend Kitty. Res Kitty. Ross Goucher, Ross Roster. Mind if I give you Kitty your number? I think you two would get along as well as you, as well as you and I do. Oh wow, she wants us to hook up with another person. Why don't we all go to my place and you know just quote unquote talk? <laughs> but I don't know any. Oh wait, Kitty. Ro so I don't have to know her, but you have a lot in common. With my okay, f sure. Why not? Why not? Um. So who's this Kitty girl? Is this her? No. Okay, there's supposed to be like some person with a blue thing. Okay, never mind. I don't know. Let's charm her again. And ask her what's your job. What um what turns you on because turn ons are really important. She's a mad scientist. That's pretty in much of an intelligent career, yeah. That her turn on, she likes stinky people. Who in the world has a turn on for stinky people? I'm actually quite interested what your turn offs are. She doesn't like gingers. She, of course, I understand she doesn't like people with no souls. Just kidding. If you're a ginger, I love you. And that's just a stereotype. Don't don't get offense to that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what do you want? That's kind of a straightforward question. Earn some money. Of course, she's a gold digger. What a gold digger. What do you fear? What's your interests get fired? Of course, that's everybody's fear. She likes art. She likes living in an office. I don't know about that. <laughs> mm. She's weird. <laughs> Alright, let's just pretty much just try to butter her toast. Let's just butter her up. That's all I have in mind right now. Wait, didn't we just tell her a joke? Okay, we, j we just told her a joke. Appreciate her, admire her, she would love that. Let's talk about the smooth talker. You better sniff the crap out of this flower like everyone else did. That's right, sniff the crap out of it. And this thing always works because she, she's loving us right now. Friendly? Friendly hug. Let's give us a hug. Oh yeah. Um. <gasps> Look, it's Nawaf. Let's we should we should hit on him too, Nawaf. I think we're only supposed to be hitting on people who are actually married. Noaf is one of them. Let's 
let's see who else. I don't know, we're just going to pick up random people. It's not all about home wrecking, I guess, even though that's kind of the purpose. That's defeating the purpose, but we should just make, like, single relationships with other people as well, because just to be, like, the man, man whore in this town. Let's greet him. Let's greet him. Let's greet him. Oh, God, it's Mrs. Mrs. Grumblebottom. She doesn't like affection right now. Is this guy trying to act cool or something? Cause he's just like... I don't know. Did you guys see that? It was like trying to act cool or something. Let's entertain him with a dog. <laughs> Sophia looks pretty good too. Okay, she, she kind of does, but she's... Yeah, let's greet her. Who is she, who is she yelling at now? Yeah, she's itching her sides. Her voice is so annoying. Sounds like a baby. Let's charm her. Um. A friendly hug. Oh, flirt! Let's sweet talk her. Wait, 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 wait! Is he like in a relationship with him? Why is why is he? What's what's up with this relationship right now? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> wow, Noah! Way to be a jerk. Dang, they're about to start a fight. Okay, <laughs> let's just go somewhere else before things get real. I think they already are. Let's go give her a back rub because a nice massage is great. Maybe she see she looks a little tense too. Why not? Okay, what? Just okay. Okay. Oh, Andrew, it looks like you're getting some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. So <laughs> they look a good sim. He's a, he's a good sim. He's a reputable reputable resident. By the way, I don't know what that means, what I just said. I just watched George Lopez and he just says that whenever he hears something obnoxious or ridiculous. If you know George Lopez, you probably know. The TV show. Let's uh let's do a prank on her. Let's do ventrilo farts. Nawaf, what is wrong with you today? He's just not liking anybody. He wanted to poke him. What a loser. I think Nawaf's turning evil, guys. It's like his turn to turn evil. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She's gonna be lecturing us. Let's run away. Run. 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 Oh my god, you have to run. She's like, nope, uh uh, I ain't having this. Alright, so we haven't really done much progress, and I really do apologize for that. I've been just like going to Camille, just to mess around a bit. But we did get some um, crushes from other Sims, and we, yeah, we, we kind of ruined a relationship, which is our our objective. So one one victim is d has been done. Just a victim has become a victim. Uh, if you guys like the video, why not give it a thumbs up? And if you want to continue watching this series or any other series that you're interested in, <laughs> that you're interested in, why not give it a thumbs up? Wait, what? What? I can't talk. Why not click the subscribe button if you haven't already? <laughs> See, I'm stupid. Okay. Hopefully, all of you have a wonderful Monday or a great rest of the day. And I will see you guys in the next video I post up. I think that might be tomorrow because tomorrow's a test and I got probably no homework after that. So we'll see. Um, I might put, I'm definitely, I don't even know if I should put my promise on this, but I'll put, I'll most likely put up two videos tomorrow just to make up for the loss of from the weekend, I know. And just from previous stuff, like I pro was promising, I didn't even promise, but I said I was going to put it up. So I'm just going to 
to do two videos tomorrow. I'm going to do like an Anderson episode and something else. I don't know if I'll put up Homewrecker tomorrow either. But I'll think of something better. So yeah, until then, stay awesome. Once again, enjoy your Monday. And I love you all.